name is Ward Weiner. Came to Tech in 1969, first as a faculty member until 1988 when I became chair of the school and was chair for 20 years until 2007 when I retired. In 1972, the National Research Council did a ranking of graduate programs nationally. And Georgia Tech Mechanical Engineering was listed in a group someplace between number 26 and number 50. Now, it just so happened in the group, we were the first one listed in the group, but that's only because they listed them alphabetically. Uh, so, you know, we were somewhere between 26 and, and 50, and now ranked fifth nationally. So, yeah, the place has changed a lot, got a lot more recognition. It's a great place. When I was a kid in high school, I worked in a garage, and I did a lot of car repairs, rebuild engines and brakes and transmissions and exhaust systems and you name it. My goal was to be an automotive engineer, work in the automotive industry. So I picked mechanical engineering at the University of Michigan. But in my senior year, the Soviet Union put up Sputnik. And when Sputnik went up, the money just came down like a rainstorm for engineering and physical sciences and mathematics. Faculty would stop me in a hall and say, are you gonna to go to graduate school? And I said, I can't afford to go to graduate school. And they would say, oh, you don't pay to go to graduate school. You get paid to go to graduate school. I said, okay, I'll do it. I have sometimes argued that mechanical engineering in particular is really the liberal education for today's technological world. Okay, engineers are required to take social sciences, they're required to take some ethics, they're required to take the basic sciences, uh, and then they take engineering courses as, as well. Uh, so it's a, an excellent foundation for a profession of any kind. The mechanical engineering graduates are hired into virtually every engineering profession. They're used in, in uh, every field, and in many fields, I mean, you, you think of aviation, for example, there are probably more mechanical engineers hired into and working in the aviation industry than there are aerospace engineers. And I know for sure that in the nuclear industry, nuclear power industry, for example, there are more mechanical engineers working there than there are nuclear engineers. But uh, mechanical engineers not only go into all the different engineering professions, but it's a very good basis for graduate work in a lot of professions. A lot of mechanical engineering graduates go into MBAs or law school or medical school. Uh, we've even had a few go into the, in, to be clergy. Mechanical engineers do everything, okay? 